Lorefort Gary is located on the bank of the Red River in St. Andrews, Manitoba, Canada. Hey, I'm Blair Malstravich. I'm at Shaughnessy Park School, and I'm talking about a very special video made by students. Mitchell, tell me what it's all about. Well, uh, the students decided in September that they would create a video for the Canada's Coolest School competition. And uh, what was necessary was to choose one of any one of Canada's national historic sites. So we have a few in, in the Manitoba region, and the one that they wanted to look at and they thought was most visually interesting was Lower Fort Gary. So, you know, you pick a location, but what are the other steps that go into, you know, making that great video? Well, that's a great question. The first thing was creating a script, uh, to have something to say. Um, that, was the, that was the role of a few of the students in the school. Uh, the other part was actually shooting the footage, whether it be, you know, our A-roll or B-roll, and just basically going, at to, going into Lower Fort Gary, spending a couple of days there, and just looking at all the very fascinating uh, stone forts, buildings and just getting some really great clips of, of uh, those areas. Now this isn't a video shot with an iPhone or like those old handy cams. What no. kind of tech were these kids using? Well, one of the things that we picked up last year was a uh, DJI flyer, which is a phantom drone. And that's uh, something we picked up at Don's Photo. Put that together with a GoPro and we were able to collect some amazing footage. Um, we encountered some problems. We did some practice in the gym here, broke some propellers. We then went out and practiced outside, which was much easier. And actually on the day of shooting, at one point we had it so high in the sky, we lost it. We could not see it anywhere, and we were terrified that we had lost um, a pretty expensive school purchase. Now, it sounds like a pretty advanced project, a lot of steps, a lot of cool tech, but what are the ages of these kids? Uh, they're, all, they're all, I would say, about 13 years old. They're all in grade 8. And um, they're, you know, they're, today I think grade 8 students are much smarter than we were when we were in grade 8. And when it comes to technology, I mean, they've got technology in their pocket all the time. So for them to use a drone or a remote control, uh, the GoPro, it's just second nature, I find, to students. So what happens if they win? What's the prize? That's the amazing part. It's a pretty phenomenal prize. So if they are to win this video competition, 30 students and six teachers from our school will go to Quebec for one week. And they will uh, be in one of uh, Quebec's national historic parks and uh, get to spend time, actually even sleep over in the park. And how can uh, people vote? Well, they have to go to myparkspass.ca and look for Shaughnessy Park School. And if they can find Shaughnessy Park School, I think we're in third place right now. Uh, they just have to uh, click vote, uh, punch in their email, and they can do that. And they can do that every single day till the end of March. Perfect. So March 30th is the deadline. March 30th is the deadline, and the top 10 videos are then judged, and they will be judged by professionals. And the one video out of those 10 that they deem to have been the best video of all in terms of promoting that national historic site will be the winner, and they will have that trip to Quebec. Great, so it's a great prize for kids doing a lot of hard work at Shaughnessy Park School. So you can vote until March 30th. It's a great way to encourage kids to get out to our national historic parks. So take a look. In the 1870s, the fort was used as the first training base for the Northwest Mounted Police.